How are you, Natalia? How, how's today been? I'm amazing. I'm a little bit tired, but uh, I think I'm now I'm the happiest woman in the world because uh, everything that happens now we're waiting for so long time. We are open for new emotions, new uh, people, you know, uh, good music, good mood, and I think this is the main idea. We are healthy, we are doing every two day, like every two days we are doing COVID tests, and it's very strict here with all these COVID uh, things, but um, it's, it's nice, really nice. You've had your first rehearsal now, how's the voice holding up? Did you, are you happy with how it went? I have all the time very expressive face, and you, I can smile, but um, in my eyes, you will um, by my eyes you will understand everything. And yesterday, I was really uh, concentrated on everything, like technical things. I was not giving my energy, like ooh, because I'm a very positive person. But I was thinking just about. And to, uh, in two days, we will have one more, like uh, this half an hour. And uh, every every rehearsal, because it's. First, it's very stressful for every, it's for normal person, like for singer, it's very stressful because it's a new country, all these COVID restrictions, you, for example, you've done your rehearsals before on your, okay, dance uh, studio, and now you are here and uh, all the things are new and you want to manage everything to, to be good. Yeah, and of course, you've only got three minutes on stage on the night, so you've got to get everything just right, so all this practice is... As you say, you're learning on the yeah. TV cameras, it's aren't you? It's always to yeah. practice because it's very difficult really to breathe because when you are dancing, usually you, you, you know, you need to do a lot of cardio before. I think Sugar is a perfect song for 2021. We've had we've had Thank the year you. of COVID and you had a song called Prison, which it felt like a lot. Do you feel like your song reflects like the fact that, you know, we're moving to more positive times? If we have done uh, has done last year prison and it was like symbolic, we stayed everybody in prison. This year we need to do something, something else, and we decided sugar is the best one because we understand and I think everybody understands that it's allegoric. We are not thinking that you need to drink uh, uh, and to eat a lot of sugar, you know, because it's not good for health, and we not promote this uh, unhealthy type of uh, life, but uh, it's allegoric, uh, sugar for us, uh, it's like it's happiness, love, uh, sexy, uh, positive uh, vibe and emotion, positive mood. And for example, the stage presentation that the show that we've used this probe, it's like uh, allegoric, it's a cube of sugar. All the time it's moving because life is moving and uh, it's like, uh, uh, yes. And we wanted to do, you know, to promote this positive, uh, optimistic, uh, because I'm a very optimistic uh, person. And uh, sometimes I'm drama queen, yes, for sure. But not this year, because all the year, last year, uh, we've been in drama. And uh, we want to dance, we want to go, everybody want to go outside. A logo of the uh, like uh, of uh, Rotterdam now it's open up like we need to be open and we want to be open to everybody to everything we don't have ice creams we have a lot of questions about why don't have ice creams but uh, I'm joking it was not possible to bring ice cream from Ukraine because we were done our video in Ukraine and we decided to do more classical more diva you know well, not only are you the diva on stage, but you're also a, a mum as well. You've got you've got a young son back at home. Are you missing him? Are you still keeping in contact? Does he know where mum is and what she's doing? Yeah, my baby, he's my baby. He's three years old. Christian, his name. Uh, yes, and now he's in Kishinev in um, in Moldova, and he knows that mommy is working. Adults, we understand that it's uh, two, three weeks, for example. Them children, they don't understand. Yes. I, I miss him so much. You know, I think you have children. I don't know, no, no. Yeah, uh, but I, I, you cannot even imagine till you not have, you know, like, and, uh, but I understand that now it's a period of time and I need to do this here, all my best. And after this will come time for relax, for chilling with my family, with my baby. Um, Natalia, we've got some questions been sent in for, by some fans. They want to find out a bit more about you. So, which is the song you want to get up and sing? I love so much songs, and I'm listening the second. Uh, I'm listening so much different styles. You know, I can listen Marilyn Manson, Limp Bizkit. I can listen Dua Lipa, 
Uh, I can listen to Russian singers. Oh, I listen. I love so much our traditional music because modern music. You cannot understand about what uh, singer singing, but it's very like like you know, it's very. And um, but I I can say I can answer maybe on the question like this that the first uh, song contest is, it, contest in my life when I've been twelve. In what in this contest I was participating, uh, the first song with uh, this song I won this song contest. It was uh, Gloria Gaynor, "I Will Survive," and I love this song so much. And for me, the song is like uh, I'm really surviving. We have and everybody we have so much problems, but all the time we are surviving and we are positive. And I think this is uh, this is very important. And I love very much if you know. Uh, je t'aime, Lara Fabian. Comment mm -hmm. uh, comme un soldat, comme une star de cinéma. Je t'aime. Yeah, it's nice to hear you sing for us too. That was beautiful. Thank you. I never usually get to speak from to anybody from Moldova. I've heard the wine is amazing. Tell us about the Moldovan wine. Yeah, wine in Moldova is really amazing. And you, I'm officially inviting you to Moldova because uh, you need to come to us. Uh, it's really, it's very really good, and uh, you can uh, drink it with grapes, like cheese, standing some, some, you know, in not in the city, sometimes in the village, and uh, uh, in weekend, if, and not just for this, because it's really nice country with nice people. It sounds wonderful, and I'm sure you know anybody watching this, including myself, if you get the chance to go to Moldova, that's an amazing opportunity and it sounds fantastic yeah. and I'm sure we all want to have a go. Thank you for your time today, Natalia. Thank you, Dina. Thank you very, very, very much for your support and both Moldova.